Hi, I'm Helen Openshaw, the Head of Drama at Coldview School in Cumbria. During my time at Coldview, I have created a wide programme of extracurricular activities in drama. I'm going to talk through the most important ones, giving suggestions and tips. I will always remember a head teacher saying to me very early in my career, the students won't remember sitting in a classroom, they will remember being in the school play. This made me realise how important extracurricular activities are in drama and how they are vital in helping enrich students' experiences of school. Theatre trips. As a drama teacher, theatre trips are really important, especially for GCSE and A-level students, but also at Key Stage 3. I would find out about your local FE college or university. Do they have performances by students that you could take your students to? This could keep the cost down and be a bit easier than travelling a long way from your school. Even better if the FE students came into your school to perform. When organising the trip, I would approach heads of year and form tutors of the students who are going on the trip to see if they can come along and help. Drama clubs. Find out about local drama festivals that your students could take part in. This is a great way for them to work towards something. You can also build links with the local community, theatre and education projects with feeder primary schools, or performances at local care homes. The Lambda or Trinity exams can be done as part of a drama club, but also are fantastic for students in terms of UCAS points. Street theatre makes a great project in the summer. Get in touch with the council to get permission for students to perform in your local town centre. My top tip for drama clubs would be to get sixth form students to help. That way more students can be involved, but it doesn't mean extra work for you. The main school production. When you first go to your new school, I would find out if someone is in charge of leading the main school production and offer to help. Take the opportunity to watch and learn. If you are the only drama teacher, don't be too ambitious with your first production. It's a lot of work. Pace yourself, start off small. As an NQT, you have enough on your plate settling into a new school and getting to know the students. Get a team together. Teachers who can help with backstage, set design or front of house. My final tips. Think about how the extracurricular activities could be built into the curriculum. Use work done in class by students in a showcase of their talent. Use GCSE and A-level work in drama evenings. Build in events carefully to the school calendar to make sure that you and your students pace yourselves. For example, I do a year 10 play in July which acts as a scripted mock assessment. I make sure rehearsals are mainly in their lessons. Make sure you publicise events in the school newsletter and website and have displays about the extracurricular activities to promote them to the students. This can really raise the profile of drama and get more students involved. Be realistic about how much you can do, especially in the first few years of teaching. The job is hard enough without the extras. Enjoy. Student performances don't have to be perfect. It's okay if things go wrong. Don't be too hard on yourself or set the bar too high. Parents will love everything they do and are incredibly supportive.